Hey everyone, GoBots here, back today with a brand new episode for MLB The Show 19 franchise with the Texas Rangers. Still leading in the a AL West right now, 62 and 42 with a four game lead. Now over the Mariners, who've been coming on strong lately, winning eight of their last 10 games. But we are approaching the trade deadline here in season two for our Rangers franchise. Uh, again, we did a lot of our big bolstering in the offseason with our pitching rotation, but we did some changes just now. Our, our off camera, I actually did a trade. I wanted to show you all what we did. So, not the trade wire. Let's go to transactions, completed trades of the Rangers. So, we acquired first base was a big issue for us. So, we did a trade here. Jose Abreu uh, from the White Sox. We gave up one of our prospected closers of Baird, uh, Logan Forsyth, and Lance Lynn in return for that. Uh, so I think it's going to be a big win for us, though, because Obreu this year, 85 overall, uh, 300 batting average, 18 home runs, 55 RBIs. Right now, that would put him you know, right in the mix for our lineup. And I know he's older. I know he's 33 years old. He probably doesn't have much left to him. Uh, and he, again, he's on a contract year. But we needed something just for this playoff run we're trying to make with this team. We needed a boost in the offense at first base because we were using Ronald Guzman there. Uh, we had Forsyth playing. Our Wisdom actually was playing over there at first for a little bit, but none of them were getting it cut and done for us. So, uh, Brayu, we needed somebody to come in in that corner and help out for us there. So that kind of shirt up that spot there. Uh, so we're just going to jump in today. We still have Cabrera and Odor on our trade block. I do anticipate we're going to see some trade uh, talk come up here before we get through. So we're going to go all the way through this Oakland series. Uh, so that means we got three series to get through today. We're going to jump in and play a little bit here and there as well. But I thank you all so, so much for joining in today. If you're new to the channel and you've come in with the whole Madden 20 stuff and everything, I do play franchise for the Texas Rangers here on MLB The Show very frequently as well. I'll keep mixing it in with everything else as well. Uh, but I just thank you all so, so much for making this video part of your day. Again, if you enjoy what you see, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, hit that notification bell, and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already done so, ladies and gentlemen, because there's more with it. there's more than just Madden here on the channel. I love my Madden gameplay. I'm having a blast doing my Cowboys franchise with Madden 20, but I love this game as well. I love lots of other games that we're going to be getting to very, very soon, which I'm excited about. A lot of sports content coming very, very soon on the channel, so... Uh, stay tuned for all that and more, but if you like what you see, again, hit that thumbs up. Let's see if we can hit a, a nice goal of 75 likes on today's video for Texas Rangers franchise. But Drew Smiley is on the bump today for the Rangers going up against Chad Cole at 9-6, and six, seven, four, uh, as, uh, whatever it was, a 3-7-4 ERA, 3-7-3 ERA, excuse me. All right, so two on for Jose Abreu in his first plate appearance for the Rangers, and he walks, so... That's uh, going to load the bases here for Odor, who again is on the trade block, and he strikes out. Shocker. And Smiley already struggling here today. And uh, he's just going to try to... Oh, man. I said he's got to try to get us a couple good innings, but that may not be the case today. And the Rangers can't do anything there, so... you got to get me at least three. Dang, man. We're already down 6 nothing to Pittsburgh here. Smiley just struggling. Finally settles down that inning. And he gets a single there. Bases loaded here for the top of the order. Here comes Elvis Andrews. And he scores three on that double right there. He gets three to come in. And Smiley now is done. We're going to go to long relief and bring in Jesse Chavez. And now the Rangers down by three. Going up against a new pitcher. And Abreu gets his first hit as a Ranger with a double. But no avail. Nothing going for Texas. There's Patrick Wisdom, two for three now with a double there. Two on, one outs, top of the order, and nothing going again for the Rangers. So now we're in the seventh inning. Keona Kella, former Ranger, five and two on the year, the four, a three, four, eight ERA, and there's two on in the corners. One out now for Abreu, and he singles in a run. Two for three in his debut here, the Rangers, and now Odor flies out, runners at the corners. And a walk will load the bases. We're going to pinch hit here. For Jesse Chavez, get his butt out of the game. We're going to bring in Shinsu Chu. And he hits into a dang double play. Are you serious? He hits into a double play. His day is done. So we're going to go to Craig Kimbrell. And the Rangers trailing 6-4 to four now. Here in the eighth inning. And there's two on, two out for Gallo. And he hits into a ground ball out of the inning. 
So here we are, final inning of the game. Jose Castillo in for the save. And there's a single there from Abreu. His third hit today. There's another single. Pat, uh, now bring a wisdom to the plate. So two on in the corners. No one out. And a freaking double play again. Are you serious? And now we need to go. I'm going to bring in Danny Santana. And he hits it to a ground, ground ball double. Uh, so we, we lose it, man. Four to six game. Uh, we, uh, we had... Ample opportunities, y'all, to get something going, but we couldn't. We couldn't prevail here in the first game at PNC Park. But we're gonna go back to it here. We got Garrett Cole, our ace on the bump today. And it's a one-two-three inning for them, and they get a two-out single there, but nothing else going. Two on, no one out to start off the second inning for the Rangers. But a double play again. It's been a big issue for us as Josh Bell hits a solo home run, giving Pittsburgh the one-nothing lead here on four hits. And the Rangers uh, not showing out too well as they give up another two runs, three runs, three runs in that inning. Rangers down 4-0 now, y'all. Oh, boy, I'm seeing those tendencies I talked about where we got to get through uh, spurts of bad offense and how good pitching, but we're not getting them both together here now. Because now Jesse Chavez is in pitching. I don't know what happened with Garrett Cole. Uh, he, I guess he had to exit the game with some sort of injury. I'm not quite sure, but now we're down 4 nothing in the 8th inning. God damn. Oh, we're out. Uh, bring in Matt Bush, I guess. Give him some work. Ninth inning. And we're in, in the eyes of a shutout here. There's a pop-out. And there it is. A 4 nothing shutout. I'm not sure what the news is there with Garrett Cole. Oh, my God. What is it? Two to three months with a fractured freaking arm? Are you serious? The Pittsburgh Pirates allow he fractured his arm in the game today, y'all. The so there goes our ace. Our ace has just gone down, and that may make me shift to go get a pitcher in this trade deadline because now with Garrett Cole out, that means our ace is out. Bumgarner and Keuchel, thankfully, are still very solid for us, but we need to seriously consider now um, chasing no I don't want to do that I want to go see who's available best pitcher out there uh, is Danny Salazar I mean he's 11 and 5 this year with a 2 2 1 ERA very very good pitcher let's see what they want for him uh, let's, let's, let's just go test it out here Christian Klump Adrian Sampson and Brian Savoni so that's an option there let's let's try it again but not dang it man I, I don't want those Okay, well, let's do prospects. Would you want any prospects here? Michael Sanchez, David Manzo, and Ricky Mateo for Danny Salazar? I'll do it. I'm going to give up prospects just to get this pitcher in here and give us somebody else we can get. Okay, he's had a really good year for the... Uh, for them. So now we move everybody out. Salazar in. Uh, he's going to be our three man. So you see what he's done this year. Again, he's 30 years old. He's on a contract here as well. But with Cleveland this season, 127 innings pitch, he's two and three. Uh, the ERA at 4.86. I thought it was okay. Whatever. I thought it said he had a 2-2-1. The CRA, but whatever. Uh, so we're, we're bringing him in here. Maybe that's in his starts, his actual starts. So far this season, how many starts has he had? Where did I see that? Thanks for joining me. That's all for today. Game started. Same time tomorrow. Enjoy the games. He's played. He hasn't started yet this season. So, what's his? What is his stamina? Seventy-five. Ooh, not near as good compared to some of these others. Uh, so we're gonna see what he can get done for us. Was there any other options out there? I don't know if I jumped on that one. I should have. There's Lopez here. He's 79 overall, a potential player on a contract year as well. Um, another type of guy. But we're going to see how it goes with this new guy we just got. Okay, because I, I had to jump out there and get somebody uh, just to sure up our team here. And uh, Keiko's on the mound now for the Rangers. So here we go. That sucks, man. That's a big That's a big uh, bust for us right there because him out now, that really hurts our team uh, going forward. Shoulders soreness will not be able to play today. So, all right, the Rangers got to get through this, man. We there's a solo home run from Joey Gallo. Rangers on top. It's one nothing here. As priority double play again, and Keuchel gives up the lead. And gets out of the rest of that jam. Bray with a single with one out, nothing else going from Texas. 
Nothing going there in the bottom of the order as well. They have two on. The base is loaded. Keiko will get out of it, man. He does. Barely. Elvis is on. Chew out. Gallo out. Keiko, you got to get through this inning, man. Get through the inning. He does. Okay. All right. Keiko's out of here. We're going to come in and bring in Chris Martin. He gets us out of the inning. 1-1 one, one game. Keona Kella on, and now he's taken out for Alonzo. So the Rangers here in the ninth tied up at one, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Uh, we're going to go to Christian Klump. And here in the ninth, he, oh, my God, and it's a walk-off. So Leonis Martin gets the job done there. And now we, we, we just got swept. We've lost four in a row. Five of our last six. There's an update from a Spider-Man game. How about that? Uh, but we got to jump into this and let's see how our new pitcher does for us. Okay, so we're playing against the White Sox here at Guaranteed Rate Field. Salazar, who's been playing well, uh, is getting his first start as a Ranger. We're going to see how he does here today. But hopefully the Rangers offense can pick up and help the man out. As he's in a bit of a spot here. He gets out of the bases loaded jam, so nothing too harmful happens. There's a much better 1-2-3 inning, and the Rangers also go down in order. Tim Anderson starts off with a triple to get the game, uh, the inning going, and he comes in on a single there. So it's 1-0. White Sox strike first. Two walks now, and there's a fielder's choice, and a run scores on the single from Wisdom. The Rangers tie the game back up. It's one all here in the fifth now. It's two doubles. And a single from Mazar will bring up Abreu, who walks to load the bases for Joey Gallo, who pops out. Not liking seeing Joey not play very well. But here we go, two on, one out here for Adubal Herrera. Ground out, two on, in scoring position for Shin Su Chu, and he grounds out. Salazar working into the sixth inning now here. And he gets out of it. Uh, Elvis is on, fly out, single, two on, two, one out now for Joey. And he hits a three run. Joey Gallo, man, with a Jimmy Jack, and he just destroyed it. And that is what I'm talking about. Rangers take the lead, and they're not done yet. The bases are still loaded, and we get out of it. But now we can be a little bit more comfortably uh, sound here as we head to the seventh inning, and we have a three-run lead. Craig Kimbrell oof, put us in a tight bind there, but he got us out of the jam. All right, and Tim Anderson. Uh, where's the clerk? Bring in the closer. And he allows a run. Oh, my gosh. We hang on for the win. Joey Gallo with the three-run home run makes the difference in the game as the Rangers get the win and gives uh, Salazar his first run at win as a Ranger for us out of uh, the trade. So that's a big win for us there. If he can play well for us down the stretch, uh, it's going to be huge for us because we, we're going to need his arm to do what he can do because now without – man, it just sucks that injury he had. Lazar right there leading the Rangers' way with a home run. We need Shelby Miller to be better too. He needs to start tightening up. Got to tighten up with Miller. There's a Herrera with a double. Okay, so two on, no one out. Ground out runners now in scoring position at second. Third, there's a single from Mazzara. A walk that will load the bases for Jose Abreu, who lines out and a strikeout, so the Rangers only get one. And former Ranger Logan Forsyth, playing now with the White Sox after the trade, is on at second after the walk. Nobody comes in to score, so wisdom aboard. Kind of for Luffin, nothing going to Herrera singles. Single right there, run comes in, runners at the corners. Now Elvis, he walks to load the bases for Nomar. He strikes out, first time he's been out today. A walk, now Abreu, grand slam, Jose Abreu against his former team. Six in this inning for the Rangers, and we're not done yet. And there we go, so 8-1 lead now. Shelby Miller, you got all the support you need, sir. And their base is loaded again. Another walk of Brayu. Oh, he hits it to a double play this time. Dang. Thought maybe he could get another chance. Odor hits a home run now. Rangers up 10-1 to 1 here. As we are just rolling along. And Miller is uh, in his element right now. He's playing well, pitching well. A single there again. And seven, seventh inning now. This makes me happy, man. I'm loving it. Seeing our offense click here, finally. And there's another run in for Joey, and he hits two in. And the Rangers now lead 13-1. to Shelby Miller staying in here, and he gets us through eight. 
And that's great to see there. We're going to bring in Matt Bush. He allows a home run. I'm okay with it. Just get us through the game. All right. The Rangers win this one against the Sox. 13 to 2, eight innings strong from Shelby Miller, six hits, one earned run, two walks, and eight strike or seven strikeouts. Now seven and eight on the year. And the Rangers will go to the finale game of this series against former Ranger Drew Smiley. I believe, right? Is that what they said? We, we traded away Smiley and now he's starting for them? No, he's starting for us. Okay, never mind. We didn't trade away him. Tanner Roark, five and thirteen this year. Holy crap. But Drew Smiley, new to the starting rotation, was bad in his first start for the Rangers. And we got two on, no one out. And they get out of the jam. No harm done. And there's a home run from the White Sox, leading now 1-0. And all right, better ending that time. Still nothing going for the Rangers. We have three hits, but nothing to show for it. Abreu gets a single there to lead off the inning. Two on, one out. And a double brings in the run for the Rangers, but a second guy was thrown out at home. So only one crosses for the Rangers there. Now a one-all game. And Smiley gets through the rest of that. So top of the order goes down in order for the Rangers. And a run comes in there for the White Sox, now leading 2-1. to one. And there he goes, 1-2-3. Patrick Wisdom doubles the start off the inning for the Rangers. Connor Falefa strikes out. Herrera strikes out. And a walk from Chu will bring up Elvis, who hits into a fielder's choice, inning over. Another 1-2-3 there. Single from Nomar. A walk from Joey will bring up Jose Abreu. And we're going to jump in and try to see what this guy plays like. I haven't been able to play with him yet. See what he's like out there. You see Joey struggling over the last 10, batting 176. Not good, but Abreu, 381. Uh, four home runs, 12 RBIs with 16 hits. That's uh, that's the best you see on that top 10 list right there. Um, but the Rangers... Alex We're scrapping around right now. We're trying to rebound after after the horrible, what is this, pinch runner? Okay, so we're going to try to take down. Um, he's bringing some speed there from Nomar. Nomar's got, what, 41 speed? Who do we got? Santana? Come on in. So Danny Santana's going to come on for the pinch run situation here for the Rangers. Jose Abreu to the plate, one for three with a single. Down by one, two on, no one out. Typically, it'll be a bunt situation here. And we're going to watch the two seam go outside. It's a 1 0 count to Abreu. He's got that kind of leaned in stance. And a cutter fouled off. Swing and a miss that was almost. 1 1 count to Abreu. And another foul. Four seam that time coming in at 95, and we are just a hair late. It's a one-two count of Brayu. Got to have to shorten up a little bit here now. The one-two. And that's a base hit up the middle. That's going to get down, and we're going to send Santana around. That will tie this game up. Abreu with another clutch hit against his former squad. And it's now 2-2 here in the eighth inning. That's a good piece of clutch hitting with two strikes on him. Comes through for the Rangers there. That is why we brought him in to be a more consistent a plate presence for us and to help us get leads and wins. Now bring up Odor now, who's one for three. Still uh, possibly going to be traded if anybody wants him. They're going to have to offer to us. We're not going to go chase out. So we're going to see what happens here. What the heck is this thing doing? We're going to stick here with Odor and see if he can uh, possibly give us the lead here. Maybe. Maybe just maybe. First pitch is a cutter down in the zone. Strike. We foul over the top on that. Not exactly what we were hoping for on that pitch. So, Odor down 0-1. Another one up the middle. That's going to get through. They had the infield in. Abreu is going to try to test out the center fielder's arm and go in there at third, and he is just in safe. And the Rangers do take the lead now. It's a 3-2 lead. Clutch piece of hitting there from Odor. And uh, that's a, it's a two straight good hits right there for the Rangers. Now brings up Patrick Wisdom, our third baseman. Two for three. Done a good job so far for us coming in. Giving this young man the chance. And ground ball, and it's going to get down. Fair. He, he, he hit it down. It's a hard struck ball. He hit it down. It's a base hit. Brings up Isaiah Kiner Falefa now. One for two on the day. Bases loaded. Nobody out here in the inning. 
first pitch on its way. And there's a changeup we're going to watch inside or outside on the outside part of the plate. Falls in. A one count. Maybe it settles him down a little bit. Oh, good cutter waving away on me right there. Uh, Falafa chased it. Infield's still in. They're anticipating possibly a, a play at the plate if it is a grounder. Falafa got to protect now here. And there it is. And they get what they wanted to with the double play. What just happened? Did they just get a freaking triple play? Everybody was running right there, it, it appeared. So they just tripled us up on the movement. Holy crap, y'all. Okay, well, I did not anticipate that happening. So that just took away a huge situation for the Rangers. Hopefully we can hang on. There's Herrera giving us a little bit more insurance. Okay. Another one in. And now Leclerc's just got to come in here and do his job. He does. It's a Ranger 5-2 win and the sweep here on the road after the losing streak. We finally bounced back out of the losing streak. Smiley gets the win now. Uh, so a much better game there for Drew Smiley. One and one now on this year. And I'm trying to stay very optimistic. So we are now here. It is trade deadline day, ladies and gentlemen. There, there may be a lot of things going on with the roster. Um, we're going to go Welcome see if there is the any show. things that have gone on. So let's go see. Let's go Starting see the trade the side, league. okay? I want to go the look Texas at trades uh, around the, the whole stinking league. As they beat the I don't White care about team the wise, side, no. I, don't, I don't care. I don't care. I just want to Yes. So trade-wise, that's what the Rangers did, of course. And we did another one right there. So the Astros and Diamondbacks have all this on. So the Astros acquired uh, Mal Maldonado from the Diamondbacks for Perez, a pitching deal right there. Not, not Nothing too, too severe and major. Again, for the Rangers right now, we're looking at our lineup. I'm, I'm more comfortable with this now, having Salazar, especially if he's throwing well. We're going to have him out there and... That's going to be a big help to us. And hopefully, I, I pray and hope that this injury situation with Garrett Cole um, can clear up. It says one to two months. We are in July, so that means if he misses all of August and all of September, um, maybe he'll be able to be back for the playoff push at the end uh, for wild card, divisional, whatever we got. But now look at our division. So we got three teams all within five and a half games of us, the Rangers, here as we are approaching here on deadline day. And we're actually going to go in and we're going to super send some of this out here and see how it goes. No offers on the table just yet. I haven't seen any offers. I'm actually just going to do a normal super send and see if anybody has any offers here. So nothing going. Oh, my gosh. The Rangers lead 10 nothing, And Bumgarner going for the shutout here. We're just going to send it. And we got the job done. We got the job done. It's a 10 nothing Ranger win. Let's see, how, let's see how that worked right here. What is this? What? I want to look at the box score. Dang it. Okay, so the Rangers get a five-hit shutout. Come and gone. Here's a recap uh, some of what home runs by Asperardi, Wisdom, and Herrera. Starting in the AL and Bumgarner goes a complete game shutout. Wow, perfect stuff the we saw there the for the Rangers. Athletic. And the trade Ten deadline nothing. has come and gone, so we're going to go Kyle look. Okay, pending transactions. The There's the a White lot Sox. of people Six on the waiver two. wire now, ladies and gentlemen. The Their waiver wire is going. As these guys have all been waived from their teams. Tanner Roark just got waived from the team we just beat the White Sox. Ivan Nova just got waived. Um, now, how does that work with waiver stuff? So, if you, I don't remember what happens if you if you try to get a guy. Does it screw you up somehow? I don't know. This guy's 82 overall, six and three on the year. I don't know what that does. So, status. Tomorrow is the last day to place a claim. Well, you know what? John Lester got the win um, through eight innings, allowing one earned run as the Cubs took care of the Phillies two to one. The Brewers hit three. I'm okay with placing a claim. I don't know what that does Nets, exactly. What does that do? The Cincinnati we just have to find him a spot. With 15 hits I don't know, but let's go look at the, the, the transactions that all happen here. So six. trade deadline day, only the one more move happened. It was the Angels and Blue Jays. Ken Giles, or he went the from the uh, Angels over there the to Dodgers the uh, Blue Jays. So we got Jordan Luplo and Robles there three. moving. So not, not nothing too severe, nothing too major happened right there. So the Rangers now awaiting to see what happens there with... That waiver move we're going to try to make. I don't know if that's a smart idea to do or not. I've never done that before in this game, so that's kind of new to me. But here we go. Back into the starting bit. Uh, Keichel on the mound, and 
just to walk that inning. That's okay. Elvis is on. Elvis is having a career season, by the way, y'all. And Abreu brings in the first run of the game. Another one right there. The Rangers up 2 nothing now. And a solo home run from Isaiah Kanafalefa. He's just saying, don't take me out of the starting spot. And Mazzaro with a two-run bomb as well. Rangers just moving and grooving right now against the A's. It's the second place team in our division right now, which we need to come on strong in this series right here. Separate ourselves a little bit more here. And we're getting what we need from our best pieces. There's a Brayu three for three, a two run blast from him. Rangers up 7 0 now. Here as we move to the sixth inning, Keiko's still just working. And two on, nobody out. There's a single there. Brayu, fielder's choice, sack fly. It is 9 nothing, And a three-run blast from Kiner Falefa. Good Lord, have yourself a day, sir. 12 nothing Rangers. And Keuchel will allow one right there in that inning. And Matt Olson. Okay, well, your day is done. We're going to go ahead and go to the pin and bring in Christian Clump. And the Rangers should be able to just win this game. Smooth sailing, easy peasy. And Clump struggling. We're going to go to Sean Kelly. Let him get some work. And the Rangers win. It's a 12-3 game. We had 17 hits as a team. And Connor Falefa, two home runs, four RBIs. A great day for that young man out there. Uh, makes me very happy to see. Did we get the guy off the waiver? Didn't say. It's Sunday Damon morning. Wilson posted Welcome okay. That's great. Starting out west That's great. In the I, I'm not worrying Texas about struggling Rangers pitchers right now four, in my minor league system. I'm worried about the, the moves. Okay, nothing else happening. Three. They now have All right, five straight wins. so we're going to keep moving through here. Uh, tell you what, who's White pitching Sox right now? we got Salazar. I actually want to play a little bit of this one. So this is the finale game of the series. We're going to jump in and actually play a little bit of this game. And I want to play with some different jerseys today, okay? I want to play, where do we want to play with? Let's see. Let's play with the, mm, we'll go red. We'll go, we'll go the red jerseys. All right. Salazar back on the mound for the Rangers. And uh, Abreu needs a day off. So we're going to give Jose Abreu the day off today. That means our lineup now is Guzman getting the spot start, who, again, is a guy that has been very un underperformed for us this season. Um, but we got to go up against Paul Blackburn here, the righty. Abreu was solid in his first start through six innings, and the Rangers now with a five-game lead in the division. It's just a crazy division we're seeing this year. As we are now 67 and 45. So we're coming into the finale of this series here After against the Athletics. The Pretty dang good crowd here on Hand and Globe Life Park in Arlington. Today, Always makes my heart happy to see this stadium fill it out. One of my favorite ballparks in all of baseball. Yes, I may be a little bit biased. I am a huge Ranger fan, so that's okay, though. But uh, there's Jerks and Profar, former Ranger, right there, chatting it up with uh, whoever that is. But let's go ahead and jump into this thing here today. And there you see Danny Salazar, 1-0 in a Ranger Rangers uniform. Dan, any thoughts? And he's hey, got to start us like off against Robbie Grossman here. So we're going to try to get it going here in the four-seam fastball. And it's in there, 94 miles per hour, strike one. We're going to go back outside and away. And another swing right there. Yes, sir, down 0-2. And we're going to go a little bit further reaching and see if we're going to chase even further. And he doesn't. It's on the corner straight. One, two, three. Strikeout right there from Danny Salazar. Yeah, Welcome to the Rangers, young man. Or not young man. I guess he's 30-something. So he's, he's, in a, he's a vet. He's been around the league a little bit. But he's coming in and doing a big way for the Rangers. We asked a lot for him. I mean, we had to pay a price for him. But we asked for him to come in and give us great innings and help our rotation uh, not miss a beat with Garrett Cole out. And that's a big thing. With Garrett Cole out, we're missing the ace. Arguably the Cy Young winner this year for the American League. Uh, so having him out, just, it really does hurt us regardless. But there's another strike out there from Salazar. Salazar, two up, two down to start off this game. Looking very sharp out there. Very, very sharp out there right now. I'll take it, man. I'll sure take it. So we get a boost up now. The dynamic difficulty rating continuing to go up and up and up. He's just swinging and fouled off right there. We're going to keep going away. We're just going to beat the outside of the strike zone down with these four seams. So he crushed that. And that is gone. So he was sitting fastball dead red. 
He read it outside. He knew that that's what we were getting. And Matt Olson takes Salazar deep. His 31st home run this season. And the Rangers are trailing now. 1-0 here to begin this game. And uh, I'll bring up Matt Chapman. So we're going to try to go a little bit different here. We're going to bring the change up for the first time today. And it just misses low. We'll go back to the four seam away. We'll miss again. So now we're a little bit shook. A little shook here. And, man, we're getting pinched there, ump. You want to freaking give me a strike, or are you just going to be a butthole behind the plate? We'll get a strike right there. 3-1. we will bring another one high make him see if we can make him chase it. He fouls it off, so it's a full count now here. Two outs. We're going to go the first two-seam of our day. I, I walked him. I knew I missed it right there with the timing, so that's a walk. Chapman now aboard will bring up Stephen Piscotti. And, uh, out of the stretch, that's a strike right there. Okay. We're going to change it away. Oh, man. I missed it, but he's, he fouled it off on the upper innards of the plate right there, so we'll take that. Uh, fouled off again. What do you want? You want, you want the two seam? Ground ball. Force out at second, and we're out of the inning. So the solo home run makes the difference here in this game first up, and uh, it was a dart out shot, too. It, didn't, it got out of here in a big old hurry, but we got to go up against Paul Blackburn. This will be his 23rd start this season. The Rangers are going to be looking at this order here to get going. Shin Su Chu struggling this series, not having a lot of luck. He, he evaded the uh, ooh, underneath it. He evaded the, the the trade deadline as well as Odor did, and Cabrera. But uh, it's okay. I mean, the, the, he's a guy. Chu again, I believe, will be retiring after the season in the game. He's getting up there in his age. But here comes Elvis, batting 324 this season. That's fourth in the American League. He's having a a, a heck of a season, y'all. He really is. We're going to watch the first pitch through here and see what we've got. We've got a slider at 86 coming in there. It's all right. I'll take it. So the 0-1. And ground ball up the middle, shortstop coverage. And Elvis, not the quickest guy out there, beating down. And there's strike, or out number two on three pitches now. Two outs. And bring up Nomar Mazar, who's been playing great baseball over the last little while. Batting now 302 on the year. Oh, got me with the chain, uh, the curve right there. Big sweeping curve, got me. 01. And two seam misses low. Give chase to it. Also, if you're watching this, y'all um, know that I do have my Road to the Show series, brand new. Christian Kane is a Ranger. And he got called up in his first season as the third baseman. They traded away Cabrera. So if you want to see a road to the show with a Ranger character, I got it for you. And I should not have swung at that pitch, but I did. That gum it. So that sucks. Um, we're going to simulate a couple innings here. We're going to come back and keep playing a little bit of this game. But singles started off. There's a double brings in a run. Oh, boy. This is not shaping out good for Salazar in the second out. And Gallo gets a home run. Juan Salazar get out of the inning. Two-run blast. Rangers tied up, baby. And another home run. We take the lead. All right, so we're going to jump back in now here in the fourth inning. Rangers battled back in this game, looking after their their pitcher. We've got the lead out now. Again, here is Profar. And he hits a grounder. And we'll take care of that our own. And there's the first out of the inning. So we'll take that. And now, looking at the one man, Grossman. He's 0 for 2 today. Four seam on the outside part of the plate. Strike one. Now we're going to go back down there. We'll get change up this time. He, we missed the spot, and it fell in the strike zone right down the middle of the freaking plate. We're going to go in the dirt with this one. And he swings over the top. Strike three. Down goes Grossman. Two away. And they'll bring up. Oriano, with his strong arm he has out there in the outfield, this dude is a very good ball player. Um, definitely got to keep your eye on, I think, in the league. I think he's a very, very good player. We're going to bring the strike zone up here on him. And he crushed it, but foul. 
A little early. We're going to go change up trailing down here in the dirt. 0-2. And he did not chase it. Good patience on his part right there. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there. the slider, huh? Falefa wants the slider. And he's got it. That's a swing and a miss. Salazar through four. The Rangers lead this game here. Four to three. And we're going to go back here. Here's Ronald Guzman. He flew out his first time up in the second inning. 0 for 1 on the day. Start off this inning. And a curveball fouled off. I wish Guzman would would uh, elevate his game and perform better and grow as a player, but as far as the game and even in real life, he, he's stagnated, um, which is not good. You don't want to see that. That looks like it's going to be a line base hit. It's down. It's a single. Make the most of your opportunities is the way baseball works. Give them a reason not to put you out of the lineup. Give them a reason to not option you. And now bring up Odor now with Guzman aboard. And there's a pitch missing outside right there. It looked like a pitch out, <laughs> but it wasn't. 1-0 to Odor. But right now, I'm very excited for the rest of this season with this Rangers team we got going. Even with the injuries we have, um, we're a playoff contender through and through. I think this could be a season we see the Rangers maybe hit over the hump and finally get something going our way. Oh, man, he went a long way to get that ball out there in the gap in the right center. Dang. That's a long, tough run to make. He made it, though. And that will bring up Wisdom, now batting 300 with six home runs, 18 RBIs. He's now our everyday first baseman most of the time. Today, I think he's filling in at third. Or, sorry, he's our everyday third baseman. Sometimes he fills in at first if he has to. But uh, he's done a good job for us, filling in, taking over for Cabrera's duties. Uh, I like him a lot. So he's down in this at bat, though, 0-1. And that's up the middle, and it gets through. And that's going to be runners at first and second. One away. One away. A good hard hit there from Wisdom will bring up Isaiah Connor Falefa. So here we go with him. Again, in real life, they're talking about Falefa maybe not being catcher anymore, and they're trying to test him out as a third baseman. Because, again, he is a utility top player, and that is a double play. Dad gun. So we didn't get to help our pitcher out at all in this inning. Uh, down they go, and the Rangers will now go super sim out and see. And Salazar get us through the inning. He does good. And Matt Bush coming on now here in the sixth. Solo home run from Joey Gallo. It's, I believe second of the day, right? And, oh crap! All right, we're gonna jump into this. Matt Bush struggling right here. They're up by two, but there's runners at second and third. No one out. We really need to get a, a strikeout, but Bush struggling with his placement here and his pitches. Struggling. I don't want to throw anything way over the middle of the plate because I know what will happen. He'll drive it out of the dang ballpark. He pops that one up. That should be deep enough to get the run to score. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And they got the run in, so they trade one for one. It's 5-4 lead now for the Rangers. Matt Chapman now to the plate. And we got the strike on the outside part of the zone there, 0-1. Go the curveball away. And fouled off first base side. The 0-2, we're going to come back out here with the four seam. Make him chase it. Did not want to. Go back with the slider then. Oh my gosh, and he, he, he got jammed on the fist with it. He missed our placement with it, but it jammed him. It jammed him, so now we got two out for Piscotti. He doubled back in the fifth inning. And four seam misses low. 1 0. Come on, Bush. Get us through this inning. Oh, come off it, um. That's a strike in every continent. We got that one. We missed our spot on it, but we got it in. And way ahead of the slider that time, a 2-2 count. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All 
And he pops it up in center field. Herrera's got it, and it's in the glove, and the Rangers are out of the inning with the lead here in the seventh, and we're going to go to the plate now and try to expand upon that with Ryan Dole coming out now here. Isaiah kiner falefa back out here for the Rangers. Let's see what we can get done here. Ooh, change up inside, swung on, missed. A one. One, here's the pitch. And I'm late on that one. I recognized it late, right down the middle of the plate. Four seam fastball. Pulled it late right there. Come on. 0 2. Way high. We're going to give no glances at that one. 1 2 count here. We pulled it, and it gets down for the leadoff single. Two strike. Swinging right there from Falefa. He's aboard. And I'll bring up Herrera now. Double Herrera, 0 for 2 on the day. And right down the middle again. That's well struck, but that's on a rope to the right fielder. One out. That's a good pitch to swing at, though. It's a good, well hit ball, but uh, right to him. Right on the line. I'll bring up Chu. He had a two run home run back in the third inning. Get the Rangers back into this game. I'd love to see another one right now to give us more insurance. Here's the first pitch to him. That's a dribbled. No double play in order here. He's going to get the flip over to his first. Two down. So two down. Brings up Elvis, who is over on the day. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt. Especially and right down the middle, and I'm late on it. Dad gummit. I regret that one now because I was right down the middle of the plate. Dang it. All right, so now we're in the eighth inning here. Rangers going to Craig Kimbrell to contain and hold this lead, and he does just that for the Rangers. Who have the bases loaded for Wisdom, who fielder's choice, Falaf and nothing. So here comes Leclerc for the save against Jerks and Profar. We're going to try to contain this and uh, keep this lead and get this win to close out the episode today, y'all. Ooh, you looked ugly right there, Jerickson. That looked disgusting. Miss inside there with the 97 mile per hour heater. Go back with the change up trail away. Oh, I left it high. That's on a rope. So that's a leadoff single there. We left that we left that in the zone more than I'd like to. I missed with my timing on the follow through, if you will. Brings up Robbie. It's a sacrifice bunt situation. And that's trailing foul. And I, I, I'm gonna rub you off the plate. You're gonna try to bunt on me. You best believe I'm rubbing you off the plate there. And and fouled off that. Is he going to try to go for another bunt? He will not. So now it's a two strike count. He's not going to go for that bunt anymore. I thought, I thought he was going. I thought, I thought he was going. I was trying to get him. He swung in a miss. Strikeout down he goes. Brings up center fielder. Here we go. We need that ground ball double play to take order here for us in this game. He watches the slider. It's a uh, ball misses low. And fouls off the four seam. Go back to it. Another one. That's going to get down. That's going to get fair and down. And play it off the wall. And nobody's going to advance very far, though. I don't know why they didn't go. Profar's got to recognize that. That saved. I mean, he hit it well and hard, but uh, that's a big chance for them right there there and we're going to try it. we got to get this ground ball. We've got to get this ground ball from Olsen. Come on. Oh, you swung at that? Wow. All right, change up now. Change up in the dirt. Swing and a miss. You looked ugly in that bat, Olsen. You looked eager. You looked ugly, sir. Get out of here. Chapman now with the game in the balance here. And a swing and a miss on the first four scene we see there. Gonna go back to it, man. Staying a little bit lower this time, and that popped up higher than I'd like to. So down 0-2. Here is the game for the Rangers. 
And we pop it up. He pops it up. Foul territory. Drifting. And here, there. We got it. The Rangers will hang on for the win. And Salazar will get another win as a Ranger. It didn't come easy this time. He did struggle early. But he settled down. Finished with five innings. 11 strikeouts. Three earned runs and two walks. But Gallo with his two home runs and two solo shots. Gets player of the game. As the Rangers win this one and get the sweep. 5-4 over the Oakland Athletics. Athletics. So that is where we're going to end today's episode, y'all, as Leclerc, Leclerc gets his 29th save as well. And uh, let's go ahead and sim through this date as well. All right, so there that is. Did he clear waivers? I, I'm just kind of curious about this. What happened here? Jesse Chavez. Welcome or not Jesse everyone. Chavez. Uh, a different guy. Right Corn Labrum. Ooh, that's no Monday. good for him. Six plus Ray months Aldo for Lopez Preston Chavez. He's an eight potential snow. Not him. Oh, Chavez Preston. Or Preston Chavez. He's one of our best young talents we got, man. He's out for like a good old while, man. Six plus months, a torn labrum. That's a potential like career killer right there for anybody. Oh, man, that sucks. I don't like seeing that, man. Not at all. What happened with the waiver wire stuff? None of this... The Tampa Bay Rays pitched well, allowing waiver wire. Hits these two guys. Took down the Yankees in the Bronx, six to three. Man, Devin Travis. Let's see if there's anything else that happened. Waivers. Nothing. Sox, okay, so nothing else happened there. The Rangers right the now. Twins. We currently They'll still have a six-game lead in the division um, the over the Seattle Mariners, and we're getting ready for the, the next Royals episode. Y'all will be jumping in here with this Arizona series, and then we go on the road for a good long time against Toronto, Minnesota, and the Angels, and no more off days. Till uh, the 24th. So get ready for a stretch here of tough, tough baseball against uh, some, a few quality teams in a big series there with Houston to end that stretch of straight games. And then we go to September shortly after that. So we probably got a handful of episodes left before we get ready for postseason ball. But I thank you all so much for tuning into this Franchise Rangers video today for MLB The Show 19. If you enjoyed it, again, our like goal today is uh, 75 thumbs ups on this video. So if you did enjoy it, please help me out with a thumbs up there. Feel free to comment down below. Hit that notification bell so you know when I go live. And feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already. But you all have an outstanding day. And as always, I'll see you all back here in the next Texas Rangers franchise video. Y'all take it easy.